hello students today in this lecture we are going to see about iot communication model so it is one of the part in logical design of iot so far we have design uh, we have seen about the functional blocks of iot so in this uh, lecture uh, we are going to see about the communication models so iot communication models are incorporated with the uh, following process so that is a request response publish subscribe um, push pull and exclusive pair so these are the different types of communication models which is used in iot so communicating the uh, iot device through the network and to the internet protocol using internet protocol and also to the server so the different ways how the client and the server is communicated so it is uh, based on the uh, these models we are going to see about one by one so first one request response model so request response model is a communication model in which the client so client which sends the request to the server and the server responds to the request so is the uh, for uh, in this block diagram we are uh, representing the request response model so take and this is a client and this is a server so the server uh, which receives the request and the client which sends the uh, request to the server so first the request has been put forward to the server so after receiving the request it is the server which receives the request from the client it process first it process the request and uh, looks up and fetches the resources and prepares the response so after that uh, request uh, after uh, from uh, after the request from the client so these are all the process which takes place in the server so it process the request looks up and fetches the resources and prepares the response so after preparing the response it uh, sends the response back to the client so this is the resource uh, from this resource the server will take the data so this is the request response model so when the server which receives the request it decides how to respond and how to fetch the data and the retrieves resource representations and prepares the response and then it sends the response to the client so it is a stateless communication model so once the uh, request is uh, given by the client so it based upon the request the server will respond so this is the basic request response model which is used in iot communication purpose so next we are going to see about the publish subscribe model communication model so publish subscribe it uh, other words it called as pub sub communication model so it involves the publishers and brokers and consumers so publishers are the source of data and publishers send the data to the topics which are managed by the broker here uh, uh, in this block diagram so there are a publisher a broker and consumer so between that uh, this broker will uh, analyze the data so after uh, the publisher sends the message to the topics so the topics uh, which is desired by the uh, broker so who are the subscribers of topic one suppose if there are two topics means so first sending the message to the topics uh, broker so the topic one the subscribers are consumers one and two for topic two uh, the subscribers are consumers three so the publish subscribe model is a pubs up model here the uh, publishers will send the data to the broker okay so uh, the these uh, publish uh, messages are managed by the broker so publishers are the source of data so publishers sends the data uh, to the topics which are managed by the broker so publishers here the publishers does not aware of the consumers so based upon the uh, request by the consumer based upon the topics by the consumers the broker will uh, may I give a message to the particular consumer so cons consumer subscribes to the topics which are managed by the broker 
okay so the, here there is no uh, direct connection between the publishers and the consumers so when the broker receives the data for a topic from the publisher it sends the data to the all the subscribed consumers so here the uh, consumers which are subscribed to the particular topics will get the response after that so consumer subscribes the topics to which the manage uh, which which are managed by the broker so when the broker receives the data so once the broker receives the data from the publisher it is uh, transferred to the consumer so this is the most uh, used to uh, communication model okay so next we are going to see about the push pull communication model so the push pull communication model in which the data produces uh, publishers which push the data to the queues and the consumers pulls the data from the queues so producers does not need to be aware of the consumers once the uh, messages are passed to the queues uh, the uh, producers does not be aware of the consumers so after that uh, the consumers from the queue will get the message so queues helps in decoupling the message between the producers and the consumers so queues which also acts as a buffer which helps in situation when there is a mismatch a mismatch between the rate at which the producers push the data and the rate at which the consumers pulls the data so here the queues will acts as a buffer so it helps the uh, coordination of uh, pushing and pulling the data from the producers and to the consumers so this is the block diagram which helps the publishers will send messages to the queues so the queues first in first out so first uh, message which is pushed to the queues will be managed to the pulled to the consumers so here the consumer 1 and 2 will be uh, waiting in the uh, queue for the message so the message will be uh, accordingly uh, first in first out format the uh, messages will be transferred to the consumers so this is an uh, uh, push pull communication model so next we are going to see about the exclusive pair so exclusive pair it is a bi-directional full duplex communication model which uses a persistent connection between the client and server so this is the uh, fully duplex communication model so once the connection is set up it remains open until the client sends a request to close the connection so uh, it is a bi-directional one so both from the client side and server side can be interacted mutually so client and server can send messages to each other after connection setup once the connection is set up successfully connected uh, setup means they can send and uh, they can send and receive the messages so here the client for example uh, the request to, uh, to set up the connection which is processed by the server so the response will be uh, given to the client as the response uh, which accepts the request so message from so first request uh, and response after that message from the client will be passed to the server so because of full duplex communication the messages from the server is sent to the client and the connection closed request after that after uh, dealing with the connections after after uh, sending the data so the connection can be closed so it is also the one of the request response uh, manner so but it is a full uh, duplex communication and also a bi-directional one so so far we have discussed about the iot communication model so request response model uh, publish subscribe model push pull communication model and exclusive pair communication model